Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace a start switch in a hot point tumble dryer. If your machine doesn't turn on via the start button, it may well mean that the start switch has failed and it needs replacing. However, if you have to press and hold your start button to activate your machine, then the issue may well be on some models with this relay board or with the door lock switch on other models. And you can find out how to repair that problem in other eSpares videos. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do to access the start switch is to take the top of the appliance off by undoing these two screws at the back. I now need to remove the drawer because I'll be removing the front panel. Next, I need to undo the four screws, two at the top and then two that hold the drawer housing in place. With all four screws removed, the control panel is now held in place by the dial here. So I'm going to remove that. And whilst I'm doing that, I'll also remove the start button. It's a good idea to grab a blunt knife or a butter knife. Just ease it between the button and the control panel, being very careful not to damage either the button or the panel itself. Same with the knob, just pull it as far as you can and then you can ease the knife into the gap, making the knob come off very easily. With the knob removed, the control panel is now just held in place by these four wires and also the lamp here. To remove the lamp, Ease it off the top clip and then the bottom clip and now I can simply remove the wires from the control panel. Before I remove the old switch I'm just going to bring in the new switch which gives you a very clear example of how the old switch is held in place. There are two arrowheads either side, which if I push down, you can see that they can flex, and these hold the start switch in place. So to remove the old one, grab the start switch from behind, and then I'll use a pair of pliers to work around these arrowheads and release the start switch from the control panel. I'm just putting a bit of sideways pressure on the start switch, just to help the clips release a little easier. And then your new start switch simply locks into place and the arrowheads keep it firmly in the control panel. And simply replace the start button. With the control panel in place, I'm just going to use the knob to hold it in position while I refit the screws. Close the door and refit the water drawer. I can then re-screw in the top. It's 
So there we have it, one new start switch fitted to this Hotpoint tumble dryer. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.